Hello and welcome to Walla Walla News and to another games review and I am Mr Tree and I am Scooby Doo we're standing in for Mr Smushy over the Christmas holidays today we are going to review probably one of the most popular and most inappropriate games this year Pandemic So here's the board. This is an exciting game where you have to save the world before four viruses can spread and cause too many outbreaks. This is a cooperative game where you assume different roles and work together to cure the diseases before it's too late. The roles have different abilities to help. For instance, The quarantine specialist can help stop placements or outbreaks of new virus cubes in the city where they are, or in the ones connecting to it. This is really helpful, especially in areas in danger of outbreaks. And there are lots of other cards you could use, all with different abilities. There are three difficulty levels that you can play at, and several different roles as I said, which makes this a brilliant game to play over and over again. We've managed to beat the game a few times, but have also lost, showing that it's not an easy game to win even once you get used to the rules. As a very brief overview of how to play, as you can see on the board, the viruses have spread onto different cities and you and your teammates need to travel between them and one of the four actions you can take in your turn is treat disease which becomes very useful to get rid of some of these cubes before they cause outbreaks. Down here you can see the four diseases. Once you've cured them, which you need four, uh, five, sorry, of these cards matching that colour to cure a disease, they then move up to show they've been cured. If, after they've been cured, you manage to get rid of all of that colour cube off the board, they then become eradicated and they can't be placed anymore. But you only need to cure the four diseases to win. You need to make sure that throughout the game, when you get the Epidemic card, this obviously makes things a lot worse. So you need to try and make sure you keep the number of cubes to a minimum and make sure not too many places have three in, otherwise you risk outbreaks, which eventually will make you lose. There are also several expansions that you can buy to add to this game to vary the challenge. Some can also be played as their own separate game. Overall, a brilliant and challenging game and well worth buying. Obviously, very applicable to 2020. Well, that's all we have time for today on today's game review. Like and subscribe for more Wallo Wallo news. Good night and good wallowing.